mind, yeah, I do this all the time Yo, wake up in the morning, go get a state of mind I done feel so many times, but I gotta keep trying I ain't giving up, nigga, put it all on the line, yo All right, y'all, so my 12 volt battery jump starter, it can jump start any size vehicle from eight liter gas to six liter diesel. Trucks, boats, motorcycles, don't matter. Comes in a tough case of vinyl, has two zippers. I love this case, it's very strong. Uh, the product itself is actually really small, so it's easy to store, uh, definitely a must. So it does not come with a power uh plug but it does come with the power cord so it's just a regular like a phone charger uh type plug and i have a lot of those plugs so i just use that that's going to go straight in the wall uh, the product itself is very sleek and light my seven year old son can handle this product all right so uh it does have a dc plug outlet as well that's on one side and then at the front you're gonna have your cable connector as well as two USB plugs you could charge your cell phone with that two cell phones at, at the same time um, takes about 30 minutes to charge it from 0 to 80 so this is your power plug right here just gonna plug it in the wall it goes from 25% all the way to hundred percent I believe mine is at 75% so you do want to charge it at least uh, once every six months it can hold a charge for up to 180 days so that's your power button mine's at 75 percent and it is ready to go so your cables are very easy to connect as well so after you open up the port you're gonna just plug it right in snaps right in and you do have indicator lights on the side and it is ready to go so once you're ready to charge you're just going to power it up uh, that power button right there that is also your booster button so if your battery is completely dead you're going to push that booster button and that's going to fire that thing right up other than that it's ready to go so you're just going to connect the red after you get it grounded then you're going to connect the black and you're going to hear a sound. So that sound means that it is ready to go and go ahead and fire that baby up. So another feature I love, it, it has the LED flashing light and you're just going to use the power button to work it. So you're going to hold the power button for three seconds. That's going to activate the light. So it's just a regular solid light and then if you want it to flash fast you're going to press it again and press it one more time that's going to be the slow strobe love that feature you're just going to press it one more time to turn it off and then to turn the entire battery off you're just going to hold it for about six to seven seconds and you'll see it shut off very easy to use All right, y'all, so this is definitely a must. Uh, these right here are played out. These right here, straight up played out. So uh, these were in my wife's car. I'm actually gonna get another one for her. This is gonna be in my vehicle. I'm gonna get one in hers. If you are interested in getting one of these, you can purchase it from Top Don on Amazon. If you use my link, you're gonna unlock a $15 coupon okay $15 so this costs $89 right now if you don't use my link you're not gonna get that discount so use my link it'll be in the description you get $15 off I also have a promo code so when you go to checkout you're gonna enter my promo code this one right here and that's gonna give you another $5 off all right if you are a prime member already guess what you get another $10 off so huge discount uh, definitely worth having this especially in this line of work but even if you don't do this it's good to have this in your car because 
Good luck trying to flag somebody, you know, flag somebody down trying to use this. All right, what's going on, y'all? Today is Friday, July 14th. And uh, in an attempt to make my videos a little bit shorter, I'm gonna get right to the point, a little less talking, more working. So I'm I, my first orders with dispatch, I'm at PPG and uh, just about to pick this order up right now. I do have some updates. Uh, I did not work the 11th, the 12th and the 13th. Well, not a full day, but I do wanna update you on some things that I was doing during that time. Uh, but I'm gonna save that for the end of the video. So it's optional, you don't have to watch it. But if you are interested in it, it's things that are gonna help me uh, continue to build my business. I just wanna share what happened uh, the past few uh, three days. All right, so let's get it. All right, man, so I'm at this apartment complex. I've been dropping off here for a long time. So they're pretty much almost done with these apartments. Uh, just got a couple more buildings to finish. And uh, I don't think we have a forklift available to unload this, so we're just gonna load it into a Connex. All right, man, we just finished. Uh, those two guys helped me. We just made a little chain. So I just, I didn't want to bore y'all with it, but I just handed it to them and they just made a chain uh, and loaded it up in there. And they let me put my trash right there and my pallet over there. So now I stuck with a pallet. And when I got it loaded, they used the forklift at uh, PPG and got that nice little gas. So nice little wear and tear, got two of them actually. All good though, that's what it's for. All right, man, I'm picking up from my electronic store. Um, I think it's just a few items, so it's kind of low paying, but it's a short route. So this will be my uh, second stop for the day. I was a little delayed because um, I don't know if I told you guys, but or if you remember, my wife, uh, a company vehicle backed into my, my car, my Chevy Sonic. So it's been in another accident. So it's in the shop getting fixed and that company is paying for it, but they're uh, dragging their feet. So I had to go deal with them. So I was out the, I was out of the, uh, I should be good now. Yeah, I was out the game for about, probably about an hour. So I'm just, I just came back out and got this order. All right, man. So just load it up. These are all my items, electronics. Um, and I just got another order from dispatch. And it says a mile away, so I accepted it. And uh, I'm going uh, right across on the other side of this fence, right there, that building right there. That's Sherman Williams right there. So I'm just gonna go over there, pick that order up, uh, a couple cans of paint, I don't think it's too many. So this is gonna be a two for one right here. Uh, everything will fit in my van. So I like those, two for one. All right, man. Uh, all right, man. I'm loaded up. Uh, got everything to fit. Got the paint. Got my TV stuff. So I'm dropping off the paint first because it's only 10 miles away, and then the uh, the uh, TV stuff will be uh, another 10 miles away after that. So um, I missed a $58 Gold Share order. Pick up some tires. Wasn't able to get that one, and then uh, a Simpex order as well. Same pickup. Same uh, tire place. Uh, that was $33, so I wasn't able to get those, but uh, it's all good. Somebody else eating. All right, man, this is my uh, paint stop. This is nice, too. Got a golf course, right? Look like it's attached to it. Uh, it's an apartment complex, so I'm about to go in the leasing office, see where we're dropping this off.
All right, man. Done with that order. Took about uh, uh about three four minutes to unload, and uh, headed to drop off these electronics. I uh, did have a dolly that came through for ninety one dollars, uh, but I didn't win that one, so still waiting on another order. It's been pretty busy today, though. All right, man, just finished dropping that load right inside that gate. And I'm gonna tell you right now, man, these people, they security, I mean, they got some uh, expensive electronics in there. And uh, I just rolled up, I, I started unloading because I've been here before, but uh, I didn't recognize the two guys. They walked right past me. They didn't say nothing to me. They didn't ask me who I was, nothing. So uh, even though I was unloading, I could have been loading up my van and just rolled out. They wouldn't even, they, they didn't say, they didn't say one word to me. So, I don't know, man. They need to get that security together. All right, man, I'm here. Those uh, five big tires are probably going to be mine. So, they asked for a cargo van, and that's why some really big tires. All right, y'all, let me tell you what happened. So, I came here on a freight order for $30 to pick up five tires. A total of five tires. Look at my van. This is not five tires. So, that those five right there are freight. That's the one I came for. While I was here, I got a Simpex order. Simpex had two pickups, same spot. I was already here, so I accepted that. As I'm driving off, boop, boop, another one. Freight, 22 more dollars. Going to the same street that those are going. Four more tires. So, I just got a three for one. So I'm about to end it like that. And the best part about it is my Simpex order is on my street. It's, it's literally two miles from my house. So love to end like that. All right, so uh, I still got these three drop offs. I'm stuck in a little bit of traffic right now, but um, dispatch put out a high paying uh, paint order, which I haven't seen one of these in a long time. It's one stop too. It wasn't even a multi-stop. So uh, it's a short route. And uh, I'm like, you know what? I'm about to get that because I don't see, I don't see dispatch pay like this. It's been a while since they pay like this for these paint orders. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna grab that. I gotta do these three tire drop offs because uh, it's gonna fill my van up with paint. So, I gotta empty it out. All right, man. Not a lot of recording. Uh, I'm moving kind of fast because I'm in a hurry. So, uh, I just dropped those tires right in there. I don't know if you can see them with the paperwork right there and uh got the last name of an employee and i'm out heading to the next stop which is uh six minutes away all right man i'm done uh, i just got these two left and that's simpex so what i'm gonna do is these are just gonna have to ride with me they're gonna be late sorry about that but they're gonna have to roll with me so i'm not far from ppg and traffic is building up so i just uh, dropped off my four tires right through that door and this is like an automotive i think it's a dealership and a repair shop back here so they got a bunch of tires in here too, but they wanted me to put it inside. So I'm just gonna go pick up the paint and I'm gonna set these tires on top. And uh, that way I don't have to drive all the way to my house and then come all the way back. So Simpex, I'm gonna be late, but y'all don't pay much anyway, so all good. All right, man, I definitely uh, did this right. Um, I was two miles from PPG 
and the route is three miles. So definitely did this right. Wouldn't have, it would not have made sense for me to go drop off those tires and come all the way back over here. It probably would have took me 30 minutes to get back over here. So we're going to take the hit on Simpex. We're going to load our van up and this is definitely going to be my last order because it's hot. It's 104 today. I don't even know how I'm working this long. All right, man, I am loaded up. Took about uh, close to 15 minutes. Uh, I did have help. So this is 40 cans. Haven't done an order like this in a while. And that's the two tires for Simpex. So I only got to drive three miles. We're going to drop this paint off. We're going to drop those tire off, tires off on the way home. I'll calculate my earnings and call it a day. All right, man, uh, I actually been here before. Um, so there, I called the guy. While I was on the way, he told me to, it's gonna be this building right next to the clubhouse, right there. So somebody's supposed to meet me and tell me where to put this paint. All right, man, so I just uh, unloaded right so inside that garage right there. Uh, it took only about 10 minutes with the help of my, the guy right there. So uh, all done, about to head home and I'll actually drop these tires off at Jiffy Lube and then uh, tally up the numbers. All right, man, I'm about to end my video right here um, at Jiffy Lube. So just to go over my numbers. So I was gonna update you guys on some stuff I was doing the past few days. I, I wasn't on the channel for like three days. Um, so after the 11th, you know, I had my interview, but then uh, Wednesday and Thursday, I got some things done, but I'm gonna save that for another video. I'm trying to really cut down on the time, the length of my video. So real quick, I'm just gonna uh, close this out. So dispatch, I had a total of four orders. Uh, for $185. Uh, Simpex, I had one order. Um, it was actually a double, a triple, triple, triple header. Uh, Simpex and two freights. So the Simpex I just delivered right here was $38. Uh, and I had two freights. One was $22 and the other one was $30. Uh, I was trying to get a screenshot of the pay, but it disappeared for some reason. It's done that before. So, but it was, uh, I want to say it was $22 and $30. So that's a total of 275. Um, I definitely could have made well over 300 today. Uh, I did have to spend about an hour dealing with my car. Uh, I had to go to the uh, body shop. So a little drama there, but I got that taken care of. So uh, I missed a couple go share orders that would have definitely put me well over 300, but it's all good. Uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna just close it out here. Y'all have a good weekend and I will catch y'all on the next one.